for in video regarding pharmacology. Like, share and subscribe the channel. Today I will discuss about what is orthostatic hypotension and which drugs causes orthostatic hypotension. Let's start with what is orthostatic hypotension. It is fall in arterial blood pressure on assumption of upright posture or we can say fall in arterial blood pressure upon standing from a supine position, which is sleep posture. Let's understand what happens when up assume upright posture and what causes orthostatic hypotension. When we assume upright posture the effects of gravity result in a redistribution of circulating blood volume in the body and results in shifting of 500 to 1000 ml of blood to the lower part of the body. Normally this deficit is compensated for by both an increase in heart rate and by the constriction of both resistance and capacitance blood vessels. An increase in heart rate alone is usually insufficient to maintain cardiac output and cerebral blood flow. Hence, systemic vasoconstriction is crucial for maintenance of adequate blood pressure. This cardiovascular responses is mediated by the autonomic nervous system via arterial mechanoreceptors, baroreceptors responding to pressure, stretch, or both located in the aortic arch and carotid sinuses. Failure of compensatory mechanisms during assumption of orthostatic posture, results in impaired venous return and leads to decreased stroke volume, systemic arterial blood pressure leading to orthostatic hypotension. The reduction in cerebral blood flow of sufficient magnitude can cause syncope or loss of consciousness. Postural or orthostatic hypotension occurs in patients who have a chronic defect in, or variable instability of vasomotor reflexes. Orthostatic hypotension may be the cause of syncope in up to 30% of the elderly. Polypharmacy with antihypertensive or antidepressant drugs is often a contributor in these patients. Here I am giving the brief accounts of drug which can cause orthostatic hypotension. Ganglion blocking drugs like hexamethonium and mecamylamine causes block in both sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system that leads to reduction in arteriolar and venous tonin which causes orthostatic hypotension. Alpha-1 receptor blockers like prazosin, doxazosin, terazosin used in hypertension causes marked orthostatic hypotension due to blockage of alpha-1 receptor. It is important to note that alpha-1 receptor is responsible for vasoconstrictive effects of epinephrine which is secreted in response to baroreceptors feedback of hypotension. Drug causing alpha-1 receptor blocking causes orthostatic hypotension due to blockage of alpha-1 mediated vasoconstriction. For example, antihistaminics such as promethazine causes alpha adrenoceptor blockade may cause orthostatic hypotension. Similarly, antipsychotic drugs phenothiazines, clozapine and zeprasidone and tricyclic antidepressants amipramine, amitriptyline block alpha-1 adrenergic receptor and can cause orthostatic hypotension. Nitrites used as antianginal may cause orthostatic hypotension due to their vasodilating action. For informative video regarding pharmacology, don't forget to subscribe the channel.